Hi guys, my name is Lindsay. I'm one of the speech therapists here at the Beaver Valley Intermediate Unit. And I wanted to make a short video to show you guys how to focus on your child's language skills at home with items that you already have in your bathroom. So a lot of our kids have goals within their IEPs pertaining to language. And they may be more specific things such as object identification, naming, following directions, answering WH questions, and or increasing phrase length. So I want to give you guys a short video on how to do this with items in your bathroom. And if you do not want to watch this video, that's fine. I will have every example and more below. So let's get started. Okay, so to complete this activity, you're going to need five items from your bathroom. You are going to need toilet paper, a towel, a comb or a brush, tissues, and dental floss. So the first section that we're going to work on is object identification, and we're going to go from there. But for each section, I will hold up a piece of white paper with the title on it, so you guys can kind of skim through the video if you do not want to do every part of it. Okay, let's get started. Alright, the first section we're going to do is object identification. So for this section, what we're going to do is you are going to ask your child to point to a certain item. So I'm going to tilt my camera down just because I'm having difficulty seeing my items, and I'll give you guys some examples. Okay. You guys can see everything. <laughs> Sorry, guys. Okay. So what you'll at say is point to the toilet paper. Go ahead. Point to the comb. All right. Point to the dental floss. So, some of our kids, it may be difficult to do that with all five items. So, in order to make the task, you know, more appropriate for them, take away some of them, only give them a choice of two. So, let me give you an example of this. Okay. Now, point to the towel. Good. Point to the toilet paper. Perfect. Okay. So, what you're going to do is you'll just keep going back and forth just like that. And you can make it a little bit harder, too. So, let me give you an example. All right, point to the one that you use to dry yourself with. Point to the one you use after you go to the restroom. Good. And then what you can do, if you, if you want to, you can add all the items back in. You just keep asking the same things like that. Okay, point to the one that you use for your teeth. Point to the one that you use for your hair. And point to the one that you use for your face. You can go any route you want to go with this. I Those are just some examples. I'll put a lot more below. So the next section is naming the items. So first we did object ID, so now we're going to name them. So what you're going to do for this is you're going to hold up the item for the child and say, what is this? And they should say, toilet paper. And you're going to do that for each item. What is this? A towel. Good. And you're going to keep going with all the items just like that. All right. Our next section is going to be following directions. So you can go lots of routes with this. What I like to do with my kiddos when I'm working with them is play a game of Simon Says, just so it makes it more engaging and more fun. So I'm going to give you some examples of what you can do for following directions, and I will put a lot more below. Okay. So the first one could be pick up the comb. Pick up the tissue. Pick up the towel. Good. And you can make it a little more complex. For example, you could do put the comb on the toilet paper. Put the comb on the toilet paper. You could do put the comb under the towel. Put the comb under the towel. You could also do hold the tissue above your head. And then you could also even make it a little more complex too. You could say, 
put the towel between the toilet paper and dental floss. So put the towel between the toilet paper and the dental floss. Okay. I will put more examples below. Our next section is going to be answering WH questions. So that means answering questions such as who, what, where, when, why, and how. Okay, for this section, you can go about this in lots of ways. So I will give you some examples of each type and then I will put more below. Okay? So you can ask your child, for example, what item do you use for your hair? Would be the comb. What item do you use for your teeth? The dental floss. You could do, where would you find toilet paper? Or, why would you need a towel? When do you use a tissue? You can go about multiple ways like that. Those are just some examples, and I'll put more below. All right, our last section is going to be increasing phrase length or adding a carrier phrase. So some kids who are nonverbal, what you can do is add a carrier phrase to your item. So that means a phrase that stays consistent throughout the whole task. So what we're going to do for ours is we're going to say, I have, I have a, so let me show you. So what you're going to have is you're going to tell your child, what is this? What do you have? And you'd hope that they say back, I have toilet paper. Or, I have a comb. With this, you're going to want to prompt your child to say the full sentence and get their thought across fully. So, in order to increase phrase length, let's go a little bit different route. So, for those kiddos, what I want you guys to do is I want you guys to hold up an item and say, tell me three things about this. What do you see? And they could say, it's purple, it has spikes, and it's shiny. Well, it's shiny here. So you could say, okay, so you said the comb is purple with pokes and shiny. So what did you say about the comb? And they'll say, the comb is purple, shiny with pokes. The, in my video with the kitchen concepts, I, can, I go in more detail how to cue for this, but I will write how to below this video too. Alright, hope you guys enjoyed that. Thank you.